with uh, that all out of the way. Let's get to the fun stuff. Without Woo-hoo. further ado, let's uh, get to the reason why we're all here. This ain't pod racing. No, it is not, Carrot. <laughs> now this is pod racing! It's loud. <laughs> Oh, wait, you have it over here now this time. Oh, it's because you had a yeah. like, storyboard up before. My mm-hmm. bad. Okay. What's up, Neon Bot? Excuse me? All right. So, as I had mentioned earlier, uh, some of these emotes have been essentially finished since last stream. Uh, they just need to be shaded for the most part. I only really shaded the ones that I uh, knew I was going to use for... Uh, the first wave of emotes. <clears throat> Tobon, did you add sunglasses to that? <laughs> Yo, if you did, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excuse me. All right. So next is going to be the row of crystal drawings here. So poor Roxy. (laughs) She's just so intense. (laughs) That's how I felt all day yesterday. (laughs) Did you say that's how you felt all day yesterday? Why? I don't know, it's just like one of those days where you're like angry for no reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why when I did my workout, I went like extra hard and, then and messed hurt up myself. Bed. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> Hi, Drawlo. Are we excited for Valentine's Day? Well, I'm more excited for my vacation. <laughs> oh, don't tell me Photoshop is gonna do this to me already. Oh, say- it's the eraser I have selected. That's why I know how to do stuff, right? Oh, also, little fun fact, I made a big boo-boo uh, <laughs> between between the last stream and uh, now. Um, I accidentally lowered the uh, the resolution on, on this, so like, it's not going to affect the, the emotes in the long run, but just for the process of making them um, the, the lines aren't going to be as super uh, crisp as I'd like them to be. So, like, they're a little, they got that little fuzz around them uh, due to it being a lower resolution. But, uh, yeah, that's that, that's because uh, I'm a dumb dumb <laughs> and accidentally saved the whole file, uh, not realizing that it was in that uh, resolution. <laughs> Slash is raiding with a party of two. Here come the dino roars. Ooh. I draw. I don't hey, draw. Hand. Congratulations, Slash. What happened? Uh, he won crown for Crystal Dragon, I believe. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right. I saw. <laughs> I saw your post about that, buddy. Well, comments starting us off with controversy. Does what? pineapple belong on pizza? I mean, I guess you all can just unfollow me right now because I like pineapple on pizza. Cool. <laughs> but I also only like pepperoni, so I can't talk. I'm one of the weirdos, okay? I think it tastes fine. <laughs> One brother. <laughs> yes. He and I have a lot in common. <laughs> 
<laughs> in that way. He likes plain stuff. I like plain stuff. Uh, Drawwell apparently agrees with you. I think. With, with the pineapple on yeah, pizza? Yeah, I think that's what he means by thank you, Z. <laughs> Is he giving me the Michael Scott thank you where he just slaps the table? Thank you! I don't know. <laughs> he could tell us shortly. Try Bowser says, people at my school believe Goofy is a cow. He's obviously a dog, right? That like blew my mind when I found out Goofy was a dog because throughout my whole childhood I'd had no idea what he was actually supposed to be because Pluto's a dog. Yeah, so why would you so have what a second would, dog? So what does that make Goofy? <laughs> <laughs> and then it just makes you think about the, 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 the odd, the very odd world of the Mickey Mouse cartoon. <laughs> yes. I mean, but then again in Steamboat Willie, Mickey just beats the crap out of a bunch of farm animals and it's hilarious. Yes, thank you. I'm like the villain. The Yeah, Pete. He's a dog too, right? He's supposed to be a cat, actually. Is he? Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I fail. And his original name was Peg Leg Pete. Okay. But they had to, because he did have a peg leg uh, in the old cartoons. Um, but then I guess uh, they had to change it after a certain point because yeah. it was like, I guess it was considered um, rude to uh, people with yeah. peg legs at the time. Yeah, you know. So. Uh, AA Feud has subscribed with Prime. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Toontown says Mickey was a jerk back then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. And then... Oh, those old cartoons. Mickey had no chill, man. <laughs> he had no chill. <laughs> um, Shadow AOD says, for both of us, what's your favorite anime intro? Definitely the the first intro in a uh, Soul Eater. I knew he was gonna say that. That, and I would say that one's tied with. Um, okay, no, maybe not tied, but a close second would be the first intro for Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, he took mine. Um, so Sailor Moon has always been a classic for me, like the intro mm -hmm. across the different seasons. But yeah, the, the opening for Soul Leader. Definitely. Darn it! You stole it from me! How dare I steal... What you gave me to begin yeah. with. <laughs> how, how dare I steal it from you when I introduced you to the anime. <laughs> Which Sailor Scout is my favorite? Uh, Mars has always been my favorite. That was my anime crush when I was like <laughs> seven. Mars was my girl. Still is. She's still my favorite. I realized, <laughs> yay, Tiny Balrog agrees with me. I realized the other day I never bought the Funko Pops of them, which I always wanted to do, and now they're like 50 bucks a pop. And I'm like, well, bum, bum, bum. I'm very sad about that. Anyway. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was announced recent, uh, yesterday. Uh. Yeah, like their little teaser thing. All it needed, oh yeah, all they needed to do was, uh, just put Tails' is Tails on the two there. And everybody was that, like, ah! Oh. Sold it for me. Immediately. I mean, I, I was going to see it regardless, but uh, that little touch, I'm like, all right. Yeah, we're going. Let's do it. We're in. Uh, Carrot says, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could fly a B-57? That sounds like a, a textbook math problem. Yes. <laughs> if the sky is purple and you're wearing blue nail polish... So how for X. How, <laughs> how many penguins can float on an iceberg? <laughs> Hi, hey there. <laughs> oh no, I'm so self-conscious about that now. <laughs> uh, Slash says, I don't collect Funko, but Brandon, do you collect Amiibos? Uh, I, I don't buy them anymore. I bought, 
Back when Amiibos were like a new thing, I bought the ones that I wanted to get at the time. Yeah. So like, I only have a couple. So I have like, I have Charizard, I have Pac-Man, um, I have, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, I have Samus. Um, I don't have, no, I don't have the uh, misprint Samus where she has two arm guns, which <laughs> would have been great. Um, I think I have Falcon. From... Yeah, I have some of the Animal Crossing Crossing. Amiibos. Uncle Joey says he came from the Angry Joe stream because trying to talk there is next to impossible. I forgot Angry Joe does streaming now. <laughs> Oops. Ah! It's because I had the I had the gradient uh, bucket on okay. instead of the regular pink bucket. It was from it's from a thing I was working on earlier. <laughs> One of my commissions. Oh, okay. Not as bit, not as momentous as pink. <laughs> I'm gonna try and avoid that one. Uncle Joey says he's playing Ape uh, Angry Joe is playing Apex Legends. Ah. Jinkan said, uh, I, whoops. Uh, sorry, I played two, Sonic 2 on my Sega Genesis Mini for the celebration. Hey, you have one of those. Yep. Played a lot of uh, Earthworm Jim on that thing. Mm -hmm. Because, my God, I needed that nostalgia trip. And then I was reminded why I, I could never beat the game as a kid. Because it's ridiculously hard. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it's been a very long day of work that wasn't supposed to be a day at work. It's like drunk stream. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> now that'll be that'll be uh, me and Carrot one of these days. Yes, one of these days we'll get him and Carrot to do it. I am not. Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Carrot says no. <laughs> Tiny Dog says yes. And then Carrot says I'm a good boy. Sure you are. And Tiny Bobox said hello, well, he's not. Comet says I have something funny. I'm from Texas and they had barely any ice and there have been over 100 accidents over here. I saw that. It made like the national news because of an enormous pileup. I'm sorry, but as a, as a, as someone who is used to driving in the snow, that's funny. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's what they were like in Vegas, too. <laughs> in the rain in Vegas. Although I do know how bad those pileups can be of like... Yeah, if one happens, it's just, oh, you're yeah. done for. Yeah. <laughs> so what is Crystal thinking about here? Whoop. She's probably thinking, when is my gosh darn cartoon gonna be finished? No. Excuse me. She's probably thinking, she's probably wondering where this emote is gonna go. Carrot says, where's the RuneScape Zarland emote? <laughs> now I gotta draw Zarland with the text above him saying buying GF. a little slow today. Toontown says, what is your favorite Sonic game? Oh boy. Um kind of well you gotta you gotta split it into there's really another mom. You got <laughs> he it. fell into the PC, but we got him. <laughs> it's 
Sorry. Anyway, with Sonic, you got to break it down into, you know, the, uh, the two categories, the 2D games and the 3D games. So for 2D, I want to say Man uh, Sonic Mania is probably my favorite. Uh, for the 3D games... Oh boy. Um, I mean, I haven't played a whole lot of those. Oh man. Because Sonic Adventure is a lot of fun. Sorry, I'm being a fan. But I also have a lot of fond memories uh, with Sonic Heroes. I don't know, it's a little trickier with the 3D games. And Sonic Generations, I don't know if I can count that one because it, it incorporates the 2D games into that one, so... <laughs> I don't know. For now, I'll just say Sonic Heroes for the 3D. And then for 2D, it's Sonic Mania. Pretty sure I'll get crucified for saying that. But... So, first of all, Python says he's living this song. <laughs> Carrot says, Did you just murder an innocent moth on stream? Yes, I did. Drawwell says, Crystal is thinking how to make these emotes as stickers. Ha 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 ha. And, I like the way you think. And Blooper Bloop 3 says thoughts on McDonald's booking, put, putting Pokemon cards in their Happy Meals. Apparently that's ruining life for everybody because all the scalpers are buying them. Yeah, I'm like, really guys? <laughs> I want those Pokemon cards. <laughs> I mean, I do too, but like... <laughs> now, nah, but for real though, that, 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 that's a real, like, that's a real drag when, when those people come out of the woodwork and do that. soundtrack for games. Why are you guys doing this to me? <laughs> World of Warcraft. For me. Oh boy. Hmm. It'd probably have to be one of the Pokemon games. Because I've listened to those but soundtracks. That's the thing. Because <laughs> the Gen 1 soundtrack is so good and iconic, but Gen 3 is, like, really amazing mm -hmm. at the same time. It's all good. You could just say Pokemon. Yeah, just Pokemon Because I didn't spe 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 wow. specify the which World of Warcraft. Specific lie? Yes. Shut up. Battle for Bikini Bottom, Toontown says. I don't know if that's for a... I don't know if that's for the soundtrack or if he's just saying it for fun. Uh, sea Shanty 2, baby, Carrot says. <laughs> the greatest, the greatest uh, video game song of all time. Tiny Battle Rock says, favorite Sea Shanty. I don't have an answer to that question. I'm sure Brandon does. Yeah, I've been listening to sea shanties lately, actually. Uh, I mean, Le it's like a big thing right now. For yeah. Reason. Uh, Leave her Johnny's pretty good. It's very, it's very uh, relaxing. Yes, you do get a free water bottle from Target when you buy Mario 3D tomorrow, which is why I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go over there. <laughs> before work? I don't know if they actually open before we do. I don't think they do, so we'll see. Who, uh, Game Flop? No, Target. Oh. I think they open at 8. We open at 9, so... Here we go. I'll have to look it up.
it am. Don't go over that part. Oh. Do do do. Okay. Uh, AA feud. I don't know. If that's up to you. I think we're gonna get it tomorrow. 3D world. Cool Joey says, last time I played WoW was in a gaming lounge on PC and no offense, sweaty nerds were talking in my ear off about classes and stuff. I mean, you're in a gaming lounge, so yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> you gotta go with, you gotta go with the, the right class. You gotta, you gotta pick the right class. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you're terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like the guy when I was flying out to BlizzCon a couple of years ago. The guy at the airport saw me with my my Blizz, BlizzCon shirt on, and he started like talking to me and found out I had been to more BlizzCons than him, and he got uh -oh. really offended. Uh -oh. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, great!" And then he was <clears throat> taking the plane to BlizzCon, so I ran into him again at the rental car place, and he's like, "Yo, what's your screen name?" And like started bugging me. It's creepy. Poor Crystal. <laughs> She's fine. She can shake it off. <laughs> Literally. I'm having trouble getting comfortable this evening. Lord Malaise. Malise? Well, would you look at who, look at who it is? Sorry if I said your name wrong. Lord Release has subscribed oh, to Tier 1. Thank right, you. Congrats. Oh, thank you. Wow, I can't talk. <laughs> Congratulations. You've won. And Slash has gifted a tier one sub to Tobon. That was nice of you, Slash. Slash, you are a good person. So how do I how do I actually say it? Is it Malize? Please tell me. I want to know. Maybe. I don't know. Four. Malice. Okay, cool. Gotcha. One, two, three, four. Should be five ridges, but it's whatever. Uh, so, uh, hey there says, this is the first stream with background music, isn't it? I'm digging it. Um, there has been background, background music. music. We've just been very quiet. <laughs> um, well, I've, I've, I've unintentionally had the music way quieter than I, uh, thought it actually was. Uh, Johnny Benny says, oh no, I'm half an hour late. Well, you made it anyway. Welcome. And then Lord Malice says, how have you been, Brandon? I haven't seen you since college. I have been pretty good. Uh, went through a pretty rough couple of years. Uh, I want to say from 2016 to 2018 was like really rough mental years, but uh, since what, like maybe mid 2020 till now, I've been doing really good. Yeah, yep, yep. And especially this year, I've been doing very good. Woo 2020 was kind of a wash, I feel. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, aside from the obvious stuff that happened that year, like I, like I was going over through some personal, like, mental gymnastics and whatnot. Yeah. Why'd you break it? 
AI was a tragedy. <laughs> Not, the, the chat's probably a little confused by that. No, just AI as in the art institutes. They, uh, oof. Yeah, they were. Ooh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> You laughed in debt. Oh, poor. <laughs> Is there going to be a new issue of Dinosaur Bones tomorrow? Yes. There will not be one next week, uh, just because Laylee and I are taking a internet break and just a general break from everything next week. Uh, but there will be a new one up tomorrow. And those who are, uh, those who have subscribed to my Patreon have, they actually got the pleasure of, uh, seeing it yesterday. Yes, they got a, they got a sneaky peek. Sneaky, sneaky peeky. peeky. All right, before I start continuing outlining those last two, I'll probably start coloring these ones here. Let me bring up her reference sheet. Draw well says you deserve the break, bro. <laughs> Thank you. It's hard convincing myself of that, but yeah. that comes with the territory of being a workaholic, so. <laughs> Comet wants to know, are you doing anything for Valentine's Day? Uh, I, I do want to at least get a picture out uh, for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, other than that, we're probably just going to be binge-watching movies. <laughs> <laughs> movies and TV shows and video games. Alcatel wants to know if you're getting him anything. Uh, I'm going to give you all the flowers, Alcatel. Or carrot. Lord Malice says, so I may or may not have made a reference to your D&D &D campaign I was in, in my own campaign. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of reference was it? Oh man, so, so many, so many D&D &D campaigns we did in college. So many memories, so many, uh, so many laughs, so many shenanigans. So many bending of the rules. <laughs> moment when your paladin got his butt burned while he was asleep. <laughs> nice. There we go. I'm just excited to not be working after tomorrow, hopefully. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that to myself. I almost went into my one rabbit hole where I, uh, I do one color at a time, no, but then go through don't. each of the. That sounds terrible. <laughs> not terrible, but like. Very, very excruciating. It sounds no fun. I'm fine with it, but I know after a certain point it'll be like, uh. That's a lot of pink. So, once you finish the emotes, what do you think you're going to do next on stream? I haven't decided yet, really. Yeah, something like that. I know you talked about doing Zarland. Um, reference sheets. There we go. Model sheets. Maybe. Um, I might do another uh, poll count on my uh, Patreon. Yeah. Let the viewers decide.
they were singing Tiki, Pinky and the Brain. The Pinky and the Brain. The Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. The games have been spoiled. The pinky, the pinky. Uh, oh. What about walk cycles for everyone, Alpha Tool says? You're funny. <laughs> that was so funny, I uh, I, I laughed so hard, it, 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 it didn't even register in this dimension. It was that <laughs> funny. You opened a new portal. Yeah. Maybe at some, I mean, actually that has me thinking, maybe at some point I can do uh, some animation streams where I uh, do like maybe some anima tutorial animation or something like that. There you go, that could be fun. Maybe, maybe, it's a big maybe, uh, think about it. Lord Malice says you're the, totally the crazy frog dance kid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, you have no idea how much that freaked me out when that, that was a thing and how much that kid looked like me. Like, how I looked at that age, too, which was ridiculous. I don't know what we're talking about. I know it's a meme, I know, I know. You might have seen it, it was the video of the two kids dancing the crazy frog, and the one little kid in it basically looks exactly like I did when I was a little kid, and it's creepy. <laughs> Hey there, says, did you see the news that the creator of Over the Garden Wall is making a Red Wall adaptation? I did Ooh. see that. I'm very interested in that. That could be interesting. I remember reading uh, one of the Red Wall books in high school. color her eyes. Thank you. I do too. You make me happy. She's got beautiful blue eyes. Is this the fire blowing one? Yes. Okay, there's just no fire right now. Okay, I'm not going crazy. I'm like... No, you're going crazy. Yes, I <laughs> crazy for feeling He's singing a lot today, guys. Did you notice that? No! No, I'm not. Don't remind them. Too late. Oh, I forgot to color her wing. No, no, don't wait. I apologize for being quiet myself tonight, guys. <laughs> Lord Malice says, wow, he sings for his chat, but wouldn't sing for his own roommate. Rude. <laughs> I never noticed your eyes until watching you do this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, rather than doing a gradient, I like to, uh, I like to make it more, um, more like a cell shaded kind of look. Yeah. You know? I like it. I like the effect it gives. I forget exactly when I started doing that with some of my drawings, but I enjoy doing it. Fire! Fire balls! Uh, Lord Mouse says, anyways, gotta lurk. I am happy, Slash. I'm glad you got your dragon skin. That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. 
Uncle Joey says, heard that Rhea in The Last Dragon is not being shown in the major cinemas in Australia because it'd be on Disney Plus at the same time. Well, you know, I think the whole, I don't know how to feel about that whole thing. Excuse me. I know you did. It's, I'm glad you got it though, Slash. likes the fire. Fire! There we go. Just a little shine. I mean, I'm going to come back through and add a little bit of shading to these, but I want to make sure I get this stuff out of the way first. There we go. I was like, her eyes are looking funny. Good night, Shadow AOD. Thanks for, uh, Sorry, thanks for joining us. Thanks for stopping by. Why do you color her eyes? Why couldn't you just leave them white? It makes it easier to color in the white then uh, you know. because of the white background. Gotcha. Okay. I could, like, if I really wanted to, I could just pull up this, like, background yeah. thing that I got going, but... Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. It also helps fill in any gaps that might end up being there, like, if I don't... If you don't, yeah, yeah. ...notice them right away. Gotcha. You know. I'm just wondering. Makes sense. said that wrong sorry wants to know what time it is for you guys because he it's 12 45 p.m where they are it is i don't even know what time it is 7 47 p.m here yep eastern standard time i actually don't know if we're in standard time right now. i'm assuming we are east coast time Yeah. It's been a day. Certainly has been. Slash is asking, is he the only one in Pacific time? I don't know. <laughs> Not sure. I know one of my friends who was here last time is on Pacific time. It's 10.47 a.m. in Australia, says Uncle Joey. Australia has like, I don't know if you've seen their like time zone chart, but it's like very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big ass country that's also a continent. Yep. So. It's on my bucket list of places I want to visit though. New Zealand first, New Zealand first. I'm kidding. <laughs> Welcome back, Dry Bowser. Welcome back. Hope you are well. Excuse 
Okay. <laughs> We're awfully quiet tonight, all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Jack has it and, been a, and us. Has it been a long week for everybody? Feels like it's been a long week. Comet got hired today as an insurance agent. Excellent. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, he's working for Vault Tech. Oh, that's right. That's right. We've had this conversation earlier. <laughs> oh, Carrot says they are currently he and uh, sh or Tiny Bow hug Shiny Bow. Um, um, are killing a three-headed dragon. That's one of the big, big old uh, bosses of RuneScape too. One of the big baddies. Hey, Bauer says it's okay to have quiet nights. That's true. Hmm. She's thinking, what color will be next? Hey, Dar agrees. It's been a long week, and he didn't get a lot of sleep. Hey, me neither. <laughs> Yeah, I've been falling asleep before you, which normally is the other way around. I think there's been one night this week where I actually got a full night's sleep. I'm sorry. Is that my fault? No. You sure? Yeah. Maybe, maybe things are working. <laughs> and I'm finally sleeping, although you're not. That sucks. Okay, that is a rare color. Be wrong. Why does she make me so happy, Brandon? Because she's a happy character. That was my wrist. Sorry if you guys heard that. <laughs> Joy says he has parrots outside his house making loud noises. Oh my god. Dry Bowser, if you would like to like uh, private message him that question, that way he can kind of talk to you and figure that out together, um, that would probably be a better idea. What, to me? Yeah, uh, if you're ever interested in a commission, the, the best way to get a hold of me is through my email. Um, I have it on my, it's under my Twitter bio. Currently, I am full on commissions, though, because um, I took in a bunch through Twitter, uh, but by the end of the month, I should be completely cleared again. Also, if you ever see me like double or triple tapping on a color, it's just because my uh, my ink drop tool is finicky. So like sometimes it it'll grab the color on the first uh, selection, other times it won't. And then sometimes the paintbrush tool will just stick entirely. <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah. Um, he does have a website, Toontown. I believe it's all underneath the stream. Yeah, I have all the links uh, listed down below. And hey, this will all be easier if we start a Discord. Someday. Someday. Not now. John says, what's your favorite Pokemon anime? Uh, what was it called? Pokemon Origins? It was the mini-series based on uh, uh, red and blue. Or I guess red and green, technically. And it was, in a sense, 
a, a little like promotional miniseries for uh, the launch of Gen 6 at the time. Now I have to look that up. We do not have Discord yet, Slash. Yeah, I'll ha I need to show that to you sometime about Pokemon Origins. It's like, it's only like four or five episodes, but like, <laughs> it, it's, it's great. It's just we'll great. To, we'll it covers to. the entirety of the the original games within like like a four episode span. I wonder if they're playing. They have been playing Pokemon on the Pokemon Twitch channel recently. Like the, 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 the show. It's been a day. Is it on Netflix? I don't know. Philbon says X and Y also. I heard the X and Y series was pretty good. But I, I, I mean, honestly, I stopped watching after the uh, Johto League because I, I remember as a kid watching the original series and then, and then we got to the Johto League and the Orange Islands and all that. And then after that ended, um, oh boy, I didn't, I didn't hit a phase where I was out of Pokemon, but like I just got interested in other stuff, you know, and um, the show wasn't nearly as engaging for me anymore. You still play the games, though. Oh my god, yeah. Like, I just started a new game on Crystal version today. <laughs> yeah, he messaged me and he's like, I can't, I don't have a charger. I was like, go look here. I had, a, I had my charger still, so. What's your least favorite cartoon, John asks. I don't know if I have a least favorite one. I have some that I dislike. But I'm not gonna say that on stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't, because I, because I don't want to chance it of it being something someone like genuinely enjoys. Yeah. And then making them feel bad. Uh, dry browser. Maybe try closing your browser and reopening it. Something wrong? He says there's a he has a, a delay. Mm. You got a big Pokemon card framed. That's cool. I actually did. Because I frame things. Um, spoiler alert. Anyway, uh, we had somebody bring in, they had gotten all of the Gen 2 Pokemon as Pokemon cards, and they had basically laid it out and we put it into like a big frame for them. It was very cool. Jungle Joey says, Ash losing, to, losing leagues does that to you. Yeah. Yeah. By the time he finally, I think, what was it? He finally won in, in the Sun and Moon anime. Mm -hmm. And I'm just and it like, was like a big freaking deal. Yeah, and I'm like, cool. Too bad I stopped caring like ten years ago. <laughs> but good for him, I guess. <laughs> he honestly should have. Okay, now I'm gonna go down on this ta on this tangent. So, in my opinion, and uh -oh. the opinion of some of my friends too, what should have happened was Ash should have won the Johto League. Because then it would have fell, it, 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 in a way, it could have fell in line with the games because the post in the post game of Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and then Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, you could fight Trainer Red at the end of the game, uh, and he was considered, you know, the champion and all that, or along with Lance and yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, Ash should have won the Johto League, and then start a brand new series with in a in the in the uh, ruby and sapphire show with either may or brendan as the lead or have them both be the protagonists and then start a new story with them but for whatever reason they're like no we gotta we gotta constantly keep it ash and pikachu which i mean is fine because it sells you know it makes it makes them money but i just think it would have been more interesting if if they would have uh given the other characters or the other video game protagonists uh more things to do like an actual place in the show yeah rather than like every now and again they would make it they would pop up in the background or like i remember in some of the movies uh like some of the animated movies like they would show them in like the pokemon leagues and stuff i'm like oh look there they are they're they being do. awesome but there they are for like three seconds they do exist <laughs>
New new Pokemon OVA, Ash gets taken out by Team Rocket. That says Alpha Tool. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, okay, so that way I can see exactly where this is going. Comment says Team Rocket has been with Flash more than any partner he's ever had. I just did the cross hatching as like yeah that's why my brain like has to like kind of yeah, thing. My, my brain has to correspond that <laughs> that's all <laughs> Says I've recently started watching, uh, rewatching the first season uh, of Pokemon Anime. And man, the first few episodes sure have some poor dialogue and world building. Oh, uh, also, especially, especially, especially the the, the uh, English dub of of the first Pokemon series. They get a oh boy, they get a lot wrong. <laughs> They get a lot wrong. Comet says, when you use the fill bucket, how come there's still some parts that it does not fill? Because that's Photoshop being a dingus. <laughs> it's done that for as long as I can remember, and I never understood why. Something to do with the way the paintbrush, the, the paintbrush tool is that's set up. still stupid. Jay... I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your last name. Wants to know if you've ever seen Rampage 2018 before. We did see Rampage. Yes. <laughs> yes, we did. Oh, it. that was disappointing, I feel like. I got exactly what I was expecting yeah. out of that movie. I wasn't disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Boop. It does that because your brush has some color fall off around the edge. If it would have, it would be all pixelated. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it, Rampage was fun. I, we, the, when we saw that, it was the point of, we had seen all the other movies at the movie theater. <laughs> well, I ended Brandon up, was excited for it. So. I ended up seeing it twice. Did you? Yes, because I saw it with you, and then my one buddy really wanted to go see it, um, so I took him to see it then. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> I was okay with watching it a second time, and I think because and I think my little brother wanted to see it too. That's did yes. he see it with us or? No. Okay, yeah. So I took my my friend and my we brother. We took him to see Aquaman. Yes. Whoops and doodles. Yeah, my stream, my iPad's so far behind what's going on. I was doing that with Carrot Stream last night too. I noticed. Oh yeah. Sorry. I turned it off, I thought. After a while. I can just tell though, oh. like from the sound I did here. Yeah. 
What movies made you go back more than two times? There was a period there where I, um, I was seeing movies twice because I would watch them with you, but then my brothers would want to see it as well. Because it suck. Uh, Avengers. We went and saw Avengers multiple times. We saw Black Panther. We saw that three times. Three times. Um. That was our first date. Uh, yes it was. Sort of. No. Uh, <laughs> and that's, some of us It was in that gray was area. Um. It was in that time period where it was that gray area. Yeah. Uh. Do, do, uh, Lord of the Rings. I went and saw multiple times. The Santa Claus, when I was little, it was at the $5 movie theater, so we went and saw it lots, because I love that movie. I'm trying to think of um, another movie I would I, I remember as a kid, I saw Finding Nemo a couple of times in theaters. Um, Prisoner of Azkaban, I saw that one several times. Uh, the last couple, of, the last, like, three Harry Potter movies I saw in the theaters at least twice for each of them. Uh, Johnny Benny just sent us a whole bunch of info about fill buckets, so I'm going to take a screenshot of that for later. Cool. Thank you. Uh, Carrot says the first Pokemon movie I saw a lot of times in theaters. Nice. I don't think what I... I don't know. I, I watched... I tend to watch the movie over and over again at home <laughs> because I don't feel like paying to go to the movie theater over and over again. So. Uncle Joey says Star Wars Rogue One. That's a good choice. I did. I love that movie. It's the best of the new movies. In my opinion. And I love Force Awakens. So, oh no, I've said something so controversial. <laughs> How dare you have an opinion on the internet? What was the last movie you saw in theaters before the plague? Uh, we saw Onward, the day before they closed down movie theaters. Yep. <laughs> and we ended up going to the movies that day because the hockey game was canceled. Yep. Yeah. We were supposed to take my brothers to the hockey game. And we went like... to the movies instead. Yep. really in the groove right now. So. You're good. Uh, Drive Bowser says he liked Force Awakens too. I mean, I really liked Force Awakens. I think it was the best of the three. Um, and I'm... Don't make that face. <laughs> uh, we're not going down the rabbit nope, hole. No, we're not going trilogy. down that rabbit hole other than that. I just think it was best of the three. Um, and <laughs> as we discussed one of these recent streams, I'm also a prequel apologist, so I tend to just kind of enjoy Star Wars in any fashion. Star Wars, I will watch. Star Wars. Speaking of which, we are watching The Mandalorian. Yeah, I need to get caught up on that. I made it <laughs> all the way to the end of season one. And... I... <laughs> Carrot says the Warcraft movie was Poggers. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest part about the Warcraft movie was seeing Stormwind come to life when you've walked around in this place for over a decade and suddenly it's there on the big screen and it looks real and it's like, oh my God. So. Apparently that movie made gangbusters over in China yep, though. Yep, that's the only reason we might get a second one, but it'll have <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> English subtitles. I mean, that's also the reason why we had so many Transformers movies. Yes, Carrot, your favorite part was the end credits. I am indirectly credited in that movie because some of the roaring crowd noises were taken from the, one of the BlizzCons I was at. There's some fun trivia for you. <laughs> oh. ah. How do earrings work? How do they work on dragons? I don't know. Sue them for using my likeness. No, Carrot, I don't think so. I was mostly mad they didn't have any gnomes. They've never, ever put a gnome 
into like an intense cinematic. Ever. It makes me sad. I love her so much. Don't forget her hair. says I thought you were gonna say you wanted a gnome in Star Wars. No, <laughs> that would be fun, but no. I'm sure there's some kind of gnomish species out there. <clears throat> favorite actor. My favorite actor? Yes. I'm a big Leo DiCaprio guy. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. He's good. Yeah. He's one, of the, he's one of the few actors I can, like, genuinely respect and look up to. Yeah. And The Rock. <laughs> the Rock's awesome. <laughs> uh, Dry Bowser says Ryan Reynolds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some people are suggesting Chris Pratt. Oh, because of the cartoons. <laughs> okay. will, will Chris Pratt senpai ever notice Zarland? Spoiler. No. No. Uh, Jay wants to know, do you have plans to watch Digimon someday? Digimon, mon, mon. I watched it when I was a kid. Not as much as I watched Pokemon, but... I think the one time I was, like, like actually really into Digimon was... Was it their third season or something? It was when the... I, I honestly can't remember his name. It was when the... The red, the red Digimon with like the 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 black markings, and he had the the he had like what white like a white tuft of hair on his head or something. Um, whenever that one was like the main Digimon, that was the one. I remember that being the one season I was like actually watching it. Now that I now that I think about it, I, I I did have a um oh what was it the Digiwatch I don't know if any of you, anybody in chat remembers these but they were the little toy that you could get back when Digimon was was like in its popularity days um, it was a little uh, the Digiwatch thing where you could it came with like it was kind of like a Tamagotchi I was gonna say it sounds like a Tamagotchi <laughs> yeah that's what it was basically and I had the um. What, what, what was his name? The Hawkman one or whatever? The, the little eagle dude? I don't, I don't know anything about Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm totally... I, I remember being like, why are... What's with all these mons? What the heck? <laughs> because I was at that age. <laughs> Digivices. Digivice, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking Digi Watch, but. I'm also the idiot who only recently realized po 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 Pokemon means pocket monster. Mm. That blew my mind that day, <laughs> if I recall correctly. Got a Digimon talk going in the yes, chat we now. Do. <laughs> <laughs> Slash says Zarlin Mon. Oh jeez. Zarmon. Zarlin Mon. He starts off as a dinosaur, and then when he digivolves, he just turns into a giant gun. Because <laughs> that's what they all did. <laughs> I guess Post Malone and Katy Perry are, are real yes. life Elite Four people now or something. That's what it looks uh, like. 
<laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. What do Post Malone and Katy Perry have to do with Pokemon? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll enjoy it, I guess. <laughs> like, I genuinely laughed out loud when I saw the Post yeah, Malone I ad. That, yeah. <laughs> I saw that work today, but I don't think it actually, like, registered in my brain till just now. <laughs> That's how I saw it. My brother sent it to me. Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> Carrot says Post Malone is his favorite Bud Light type gym leader. <laughs> 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 Maybe we will get to Dana's uh We might. Emotes. I don't know. Are you planning to go after in shade or are you saying No, I'll, I'll I'll probably do that in my off time. Um or like the days I'm not streaming, you know. If you want to, that's fine. Jay, we are celebrating, but we're just staying home. <laughs> you want to know what we were doing for Valentine's Day? Gotcha. We're staying home. Maybe we'll get barbecue. Ooh. Barbecue? Barbecue. We haven't had that this week. Barbecue. Ships, Starland, and Trixie. We know, <laughs> bud. We know. Carrot says he's going to avoid his wife for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Tiny Balrog says, Me too. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wait, Tiny Balrog has a wife? Alcatul says, oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Gingy, the cat. How he became a wife, I don't know. What, the live action movie? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's if, if, if it's the Michael Bay one, uh, yeah, I did see it. I didn't see the sequel, but I saw the first one. I had um, uh, the second movie from the 90s, uh, what was it, The Secret of the Ooze? I had that one on VHS as a kid and watched it, uh, watched it a lot. Oh, they're saying the CGI animated show. Made by Cyril Mielli. Oh, the one that was on Nickelodeon. Oh, um, I saw like the first couple episodes of it. Um, it, I mean, it looked good, and from what I could tell, like over the years, it looked like it, it had it grew like a really uh, whatever it whatever it was that they did with it. They did good stuff 
with it. Like, it looked like it was a pretty decent show all the way through, and they gave it, like, I don't know if it, like, ended, ended, or, or if um, they canceled it or whatever, but from what I could tell, it looked like it was a solid show. I just remember my friend's son being really into it, and then when he showed me and my nephew's dad, <laughs> um, we were both like, what is this nonsense? Because it wasn't the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song. Like, the, the, the show opener was different. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> but what layer is that? Oh, that's the shadows. I'm gonna label that so I know. My Bowser wants to know what's the movie that made us cry. Everything. Land before time. I mean. Uh, I will. I will admit, as a grown ass man, I cried to that movie. <laughs> I went years without watching it, and then I'm like, man, I have fond memories of this movie. I'm gonna go watch it again. Mistake. Then, then Littlefoot's mom dies, <laughs> and it's like the most depressing thing. And then at the end, when they get to the Great Valley, it's like. It makes you cry. Yeah. <laughs> they finally did it. Jay says we're back, a dinosaur story. <laughs> That's a good movie. Okay, so. I'm wondering if I should give it. Yeah, I'll give it black outlines, whatever. Okay. Okay. Drive Bowser says spoilers. Spoilers for a 30-some-year-old movie. Carrot says I cry from Spider-Man 3. We all cried from <laughs> Spider-Man 3. <laughs> oh, there's one. There's one. What was it? Like, one of the questions I got at one of the uh, one of the last streams where someone asked, uh, what's a movie I like that... that uh... Other people don't. Yeah, there's one. Spider-Man 3. Really? Yeah. <laughs> See, we, I didn't see Toy Story 4. All I know is Toy Story 3 made me cry. All I know is Toy Story 4 wasn't necessary. <laughs> it was not needed at all because Toy Story 3 ended on a perfect note. Perfect note. And then Pixar was like, we want money. <laughs> That's why we didn't go see it, if I recall yeah. correctly. That's exactly why I didn't go see it. Because I'm like, no, it ended on a perfect note. They did not need to make another one. There, Crystal's face is my feelings towards that movie being made. Mm says, you are a toy! <laughs> you are a sad, strange little man. Have my pick. <laughs> Anyone here ever play the Toy Story game on the Sega Genesis? You played the one on the Game Boy? No. I played the one on Sega Genesis, and I remember as a kid being so, like, infuriated by how hard it was. <laughs> it was hard on Game Boy, too. Here's a fun little uh, fun fact. Back in the back in the good old days of um, uh, video stores where you could rent video games from, 
Uh, I'm pretty sure some of you guys remember those. Some of you might even know this, so I'm probably just spouting out information people already know, but I think it's a cool fun fact. Um, the reason those games were so hard, especially like the, the Disney movie tie-in games at the time, is because if a game was too difficult for someone to beat, that would mean that they would not beat it within the time frame that they were renting the game. So they'd have to bring it back and then pay the uh, video store more money to rent the game out again. And ergo, doing that repeatedly for all these very difficult games meant more money for those companies. Very interesting. Someone is about to lose his mic here in the second you start. Yes, that is interesting. Also makes sense. So like, and even the games like, like if you look back on those games and you're like, why are they so stupidly unfair at points? And th that's exactly why. You weren't supposed to be able to beat the game right away. You had to basically shell out a crap ton of money <laughs> until until you had enough, uh, um, I don't know, however much time you needed to get the skill to beat it. Or, you know, just buy the game. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, or just Which was spend... the idea, like, they just, they're like, yeah. we just want your money. Everything all right? Yes. Just saving something on my phone, sorry. And he's coming. That is one place I want to take you is to Toy Story World. Because I know you Oh, I, I had full intentions on going to it when it, like, when they announced it. I'm like, I'm going there one day. She angry! She fuming! <laughs> I don't want to play with you, you anymore! <laughs> for the nightmare fuel Pixar. Yeah, right? <laughs> Jeez. Excuse me. Man, when that movie came out, uh, that was just crazy how amazing that, like, because when that movie came out, that was the first fully 3D animated film. And you know what? It was a genius move on their oh part God. to make the characters toys. Yeah. Because with the with the rendering power at the time, you know, everything looked plasticky and shiny and whatnot. So making the decision of being like, all right, if if everything has this weird plastic look to it well, with these 3D like programs, we're yeah. gonna make them we're gonna make them toys. Well and it's it's fascinating to look at how the like Andy and his mom and his sister change. Oh yeah. Over the the three movies, because I didn't see the fourth one. I don't think they're even and Sid, who's the most horrifying individual ever. <laughs> Freaking Sid. Oh. Go, looking back on that movie now, like, Sid depresses me. Because he's clearly from, like, a broken down, drunken yeah, home. Yeah, it's very sad, but also... And it's like, oh. 
I kind of knew kids like that. And then I saw how they turned out when we grew up. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, like, no. Oh, um, oh no. <laughs> Maybe we should do a Toy Story marathon. <laughs> Although I don't know that I want to cry hysterically again. <laughs> Are you going to be able to make it through Jesse's backstory? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a, it's not even that. It's the incinerator at the end of the third one. Oh, I know. <laughs> Jesse's back, so I can make it through, but not easily. I was gonna say, that was a hard one to sit through. Like, oof. <laughs> Crystal, I done goofed on some of your colors here. What'd you do? I missed, like, her wings and oh. part of her arm there. Aldehas says the people in Toy Story were horrifying. <laughs> yes. And did anybody play the Toy Story world in Kingdom Hearts? Because that was a lot of fun. Especially Andy's room is like basically pulled straight out of the movie. <laughs> uh, we have a streamer we follow who were. Probably one of the most like visually entertaining worlds that they ever put in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. We have a streamer who loves loves that world and like spent so much time talking about it yes it was nominated for best picture i don't know if it won though did it win toy story 4 won which really pissed a lot of people off including me is uh toy story i would imagine toy story 3 won yeah okay. because uh, uh how to train your dragon should have won for, instead of toy story 4. just saying i remember uh toy story 3 because i my whole fan my whole family went to go see it, and um, my mom got very emotional during it. Oh. Because that, because the year that came out was the year I graduated high school. Oh no. Oh. And and she got like all all sad and whatnot because like everything, like all the parallels were there and whatnot. Aw, let's see here. Toy Story three won in two thousand ten. And then Toy Story 4 won in 2019, which made me mad because I feel like Hidden World should have won. Um, and then it didn't exist for two and one. So. How to Train Your Dragon 3 was a good. Uh, that was a good ending to that movie. Gorgeous. Or to, those, to that yeah. movie series. Gorgeous. Oh, there's another movie. Kung Fu Panda 2 unexpectedly made me, like, want to cry. <laughs> oh, Kung Fu Panda. That's what I've been missing are all the award shows that should have been happening right now. Still haven't had the Tonys for last year, and they're not going to have any for this year because there was no show. Sad. The theater is dying. Unfortunately. It's not fair. Hopefully it'll bounce back after all this. Have I seen Rango? Yes. I like that movie. That's a movie I can definitely... I can appreciate that movie more now than when it first came out. Like, because there's just... Like, the way it's done and all that. Like, there's just a lot of little things in it that uh, I can appreciate a lot more now. I'm gonna restart. 
that didn't pop up till after you asked that question, so. Excuse me. Oh, well, there's part of the problem. I think the app needs to be updated. Sorry, guys, give me a moment. Yeah, Rango is good. Very, very good. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Rango Unchained. No, let's not let's not cross those two movies over. Thank you very much, Carrot. Oh dear God. No. <laughs> the Django Unchained was a good movie, but uh <laughs> We are on break after this is our last one before our break. Sorry. Hello, Anthony Nerdy. Anthony Nerdy says hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, dear. That's one of the lines in the cartoon. Which one? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. I feel like I said a lot of stuff like that, though. <laughs> I know I said, I'm sorry, Marv. I can't use that line, though. <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> it wasn't in the script. I know. He looks so angry. She's angry that Marv jacked up the prices. <laughs> well, it's her fault. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> She's angry at Disney closing down Blue Sky Studios. Yeah. Although, we didn't really need another Ice Age movie. Sorry. Yeah, but unfortunately... But... No, I know. I know that's not the point. I'm yeah. just making a bad joke about the situation. Sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I am mad about that too. Didn't they do Rio? No. Nickel no. Nickelodeon did. No, wait. No, yeah. They did. I'm, I'm thinking of Rango. What? Rango. Yeah, Rio. yeah. Blue Sky did Rio. Nickelodeon did Rango. Yes. I have a brain. Don't worry, guys. Trust me. I kind of have a brain. I think. Apparently, do, two cell do two brain cells count? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Two brain cells love each other very much. <laughs> uh, yes, I don't know if, uh, I guess people didn't know. Uh, Disney has closed down Blue Sky. Yep. Because Disney is Disney, unfortunately. Yeah. I didn't even know they bought Blue Sky. Well, Blue Sky is part of a uh, box. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Did I ever show you Rio? If you recall, when we went to the zoo, the, yeah, they had a little. They like, had like a mini version of it, and you were yeah. trying to because I'd never seen it, so you were trying to explain it to me, and then it turns out the mini version was basically the movie shortened. Yeah. So, because we got free tickets to it, so we were like, we might as well use it. Well, and, I'll have to show you the full little, movie sometime because I feel like you'd like it. Probably. I feel like I'd cry. Blue Bottles Flyer says emotes are coming along nicely. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You'll have to zoom out so you can see all of them. I will once this yeah. last one is colored here. I was just telling you, they weren't here until just now, so that's what I was saying. Yeah. Yes, the one actor did get fired from The Mandalorian. That yeah, is we're not, a we're hot not, button topic we're not going into yeah, either. Yeah, we're not touching that. So. We ain't touching any of that stuff in this stream, boys. Boys and girls.
Uh, uh, Titan RE? Oh my god. Somebody else knows about that movie? <laughs> Titan AE, sorry. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Oh my god. I, have to, I need to show you that. I think I have it somewhere. Um, There's a movie to make you cry, The Iron Giant. No, that's one I never actually saw the whole thing of and I don't feel like I need to. <laughs> you, you, you would cry at the end. <laughs> Treasure Planet also, yes, was very good. I've only seen it once or twice. That movie, that movie would be one of the, oops, and Photoshop crapped itself. Okay. How much did it lose? No, it didn't lose anything. It's just, it, it just pooped itself. Uh, meaning like it, it got desynced with my tablet and oh, all okay. that. Has to do with the, Ah, oh, what folder do I have you in? Right here. Boop. There you are. It, ah! it happens with, it, it sometimes just bugs out with larger files, that's all. I was gonna say something, but now I forgot. Alright. It's not your fault. Photoshop got me distracted. Alrighty. And let's give her eyes a little highlight here. I don't think you gave any to the one to the left eye. No, I didn't. I'm going back through. No, no, I'm just thinking out loud. Sorry. Before we jump on to uh, drawing some Dana next, I'm gonna take a little break here. I need to use the restroom quick. Be right back. Okay. He's abandoning me. Yep. For like a minute. Oh no. Hello, Solratic. Welcome. Also, uh, I missed somebody. Sorry, I lost it. So, hi, I saw somebody else show up and say hello. I missed it and I can't find it now. Hello, Cardboard Mix. Thank you. The, uh, he's, uh, I'm not the person drawing. He's AFK at the moment, but I will let him know. Y'all waited for him to walk away to say all this, huh? <laughs> Carol Vowles, you weren't abandoned, you were a Brandon. That's true. That is very true. Thank you for that. <laughs> you walked away and they started complimenting your art style. <laughs> He's not quite back yet, guys. Stand by. I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm sitting really far away from the mic. Sorry. What? Drawwell says the Screaming Roxy one is dope. Yeah. Thank you. I picture her just sounding like, ah! <laughs> ah! Thank you, Blue Bottle Flyer. What did you say? Uh, this, I, I said, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm oh. sitting really far away from the mic. And oh, okay. I said that they can hear me just fine. Oh, boy. We all having fun? Yeah, hopefully, um, I don't know how and when, but whenever I can add more emotes to my roster, uh, I'd like to put the Screaming Roxy in the next uh, batch. <laughs> there you go. I just, I don't know how I'm going to hit that criteria exactly. I don't, I need I don't to know like... if it has to do with, like, those, 
the bits and stuff or, or I don't, um, I, we got we got or how many subscriptions you get I don't know how I don't know what actually does it but yeah. whenever the whenever it does happen uh, I would like to make that one included. Can I do the mask impression? <laughs> it's party time! P-A-R-T. Why? Because I gotta! <laughs> Snooze. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, now we are they on to. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the <laughs> king of the Ramba beat. With the maracas, they go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. <laughs> I forgot the lyrics there in the middle of that, but hey. Jim Carrey's amazing. Well, back in his heyday, he was amazing. He, he was amazing in Sonic. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. I found the I found the full lyrics to that song. Okay, we're not giving Dana uh, black outlines like the rest of the characters here because she is a ghosty. She's a ghost. So she gets she gets uh, purple outlines instead. Is that purple? Yeah, it's like oh, a really it is dark. Purple. It's very dark. Purple. It'll be a lot more noticeable once she's colored in. Yeah. <laughs> That's how uh, this method tends to work. Respite says, hi there, Brandon. It is Greg. Oh, hey, buddy. Nice of you to stop in. Koban is excited about getting back. Dana time. I hope, I hope people don't get like agitated with my method of constantly Why? doing a circle and then having to hit control Z because I messed it up. <laughs> Whatever. Have you drawn Sonic in your style? Not in a long okay. time. Jay was asking about it, so I thought. But I, I was actually thinking of making that one of like the. I don't know. I was thinking of asking my patrons at some point if like. To pick a character. Yeah. And Sonic was going to be one of them. There you go. Maybe. Maybe. We shall see. for the Haunted Mansion when? Aw. <laughs> She's too silly for the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> well, it depends on what part of the Haunted Mansion. So do you have other characters in her ghost universe? Or is it just her? I mean, technically there's Olivia Ghoul. Yeah. Um, other than them, I mean, like I, over the years I- I Come up with ideas. Yeah, I, I dabbled in possibly other characters here and there, uh, but nothing like official. Just wondering. Let me 
maybe I can fix that this coming Halloween. Ooh. Let's not rush Halloween though, please. I don't want to be 34 yet. Huh! <laughs> <laughs> you darn kids and your Tic Tacs! TikTok. Oh, okay. It didn't work. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm old and I don't understand the kids these days. I know, days. I'm kind of joking, but I didn't get it, so. Excuse. You all right? Yeah, I'm just burping. <laughs> You're gonna have to do a goodbye screen at some point. Yeah. That's not the creepy weird one that you have. <laughs> what? It's the best one where Zarlin's just traumatized. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you put in your goodbye screen? Probably Zarlin. Oh, okay. No. Is named Dana. Yes. That be her name. That be Dana. I was going for an Owen Wilson thing, but okay. Okay. <laughs> you went full shy guy there. Wow. I did. I took it there. Wow. Joey says, with that boost so powerful, it could scare PewDiePie. <laughs> Did you want to say something? No. You sound like you were going to say something. No. Uh-oh. Wow. Don't have too much fun without me. Now they're trapped with me. What would make Dana gasp? Um, not too sure. Off the top of my head, anyway. <laughs> Probably something that just, like, would excite her. Like, maybe, maybe there's a... a a uh, festival happening or a carnival happening and she's like, ooh, I wanna go. Not not uh 
Not a care in the world that she's dead and can't really interact with any of it. I don't know anatomy. I didn't go to art school. What? You guys can't see it, but I'm like... <laughs> I keep like tilting my head and like making weird faces trying to... Like, get the- get this- just getting this emote right here. The odd- the odd habits of being an artist, I guess. Maybe she's gasping at how awesome your heart is. Thank you. The ghost Kitty is the final one. Yay! Don't know if we're getting to that tonight. Aww. I don't want to run too long, remember? No, I don't. Let me at least start coloring these first ones here, so that way I have her color palette ready to go for the rest of them. Give me a sec here, guys. I gotta find my proper reference image for her. Could you close that? Yeah, I just started again now, it's not supposed to be doing that. Bye, everybody. We are looking for something. <laughs> it's not in here, then it might be in my downloads. Because it was, because the thing is, it's a picture that was not done on the computer, it was done on the iPad. Mm -hmm. So its location is.
Well, you know what? I can... I know her colors. I'll just do it here. It'll be okay. I don't have an official sheet for her just yet, so it's fine. That's a decent uh, reference you sent me, Slash, uh, but her colors have changed just a little bit uh, since then. So, but thank you. Dry Bowser wants to know, so after this is done, before you go to break, will you do these off screen, save them for next time, or do a speed paint and post it on YouTube? Um, I mean, would you guys like to see them, like, finished on stream because if so i can do that that's perfectly fine by me um, and as far as the speed paint goes uh we're actually working on that um we're basically we're, gonna... we're waiting until it's all done done and then we're gonna do it by character mm -hmm. so it'll be one video of all of zarlin being sketched inked well colored, they're all gonna i mean the way it's been recorded, they're 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 all gonna be shown being sketched and whatnot. But I don't. I thought we never mind. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> I mean, unless if you're up to editing that That's much. That's what I thought I was doing. Okay. <laughs> but who knows? Anyway, it's going to become a speed paint at some point. But if you, I guess he's saying if you want him to finish them on stream when we come back, because you are you are not streaming, right? I'm not. We are taking a very much-needed break from the world. So, I mean, do you want him to? He's asking. Would you guys like him to finish the emotes on stream? It won't be until Monday the... 22nd, mm -hmm. and maybe not then? Because somebody's birthday is that day? That's why right, I gotta get a confirmation on that. Yeah, so it won't be till the week of the 22nd. We're not sure what day yet because of some... Uh, Personal stuff. Real life stuff. Thank you, Blue Bottle Flyer. We are not going anywhere. We are staying home. <laughs> Uh, but that means I don't go to work, and I need a break from work. <laughs> so now in this case, you change the background so you can see where to color her hair. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, because doing it like that... Yeah, you can't yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. He's going to speed paint them no matter what, Dry Bowser. Like, that's already going to happen. It's just a matter of if you guys want him to finish these off screen or on screen. Uh, it's just to help, since her hair is white, it helps me see where I'm actually coloring when I'm using the color white. So. The dry Bowser is thinking you finish the off screen. What tool is it called slash this It's not any tool. Um, I, I made a... I, I, I pre-made a uh, checkered background here, uh, just just in case of this particular particular situation. Um, 
it was just something I made on my own. feedback about that's fine but it, um i think jay is curious as to when you're gonna finish them but when he's going to finish the emotes yet. It might be another stream, or he might finish them off stream. Um, either way, they will get put up on his YouTube channel at some point uh, as, a, as a speed paint. What's wrong? I feel like she's a bit too... color scheme is like it's simple but it's like hard to get on this pot Maybe during our break next week, you can watch me go crazy trying to 100% Mario Sunshine. Oh boy. <laughs> Can't wait. You're gonna be too busy playing Mario 3D. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, I don't like that exclamation point. It's too sharp. It's too stocky, is what it is. Yeah, it's not big.
You didn't miss anything, Uncle Joey. Um, John, the a few of them are in use if you are a subscriber. Um, that's kind of the only way to. That's the only get way them. to use them at the moment. So uh, there's a couple that have been approved by Twitch and are out there. Dry Bowser says, "Is Dana named after Dana Barrett from Ghostbusters?" No. <laughs> That would be funny, though. I didn't even make that connection. No? Because <laughs> the majority of the time when I'm naming my characters, I just kind of look at them and the first name that pops into my head, I'm like, all right, that's their name. wants to know if you're getting the Scott Pilgrim game. Uh, I would... On the Switch, I think is what he's asking. Maybe that'll be part of next week. <laughs> I haven't played that since college. I though. know, maybe I will gift it to you. It's me and my one roommate. We didn't beat it, but we played it on like co-op mode. default that's yes, coming out. The new one. So why aren't you drawing the wow over top of the wow you already drew? I want to, well, actually, what am I doing? I want it to, uh, because look, if I rotate the screen here, yeah. it looks a little skewed and yeah. okay. wonky. Yeah, I'm just curious. But if I do it, like, just as a straight ahead, yeah, then, move then I can modify it. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, Uncle Joey, I don't I don't know a ton about copyright and that kind of thing, but I don't think there's any problem with drawing your own characters. He's what? worried about them being stolen if he draws them, I guess. No, I I mean I've had I've had people like get worried about drawing my character like if you guys want to draw my characters, go right ahead. If okay. anything, I want to see it. <laughs> Send it to me. They have characters they want to draw. Like, like their own? I don't know. I think that's what. Are you? Are, do you mean your own characters, Uncle Joey? Little flyer says they can relate on getting text to look just right. Yeah, I like doing that uh, chunky, like, comic book style of the, uh, style of text. Okay, Uncle Joy says yes, he, uh... Um... Hmm? Whoa, sorry, uh, he says yes, he meant his own personal characters. I don't know how you could get into a copyright thing of making your own no, character. No, I mean, if he's worried about other people's stuff. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean... That can be a concern to an extent, but, you know, I, I would say don't let it stop you from... Creating. Yeah. And, I mean, if I'll be honest, that's probably the number one reason why I'm, like, not really all for the idea of pitching my ideas to a studio. Unless if, like, I could somehow get them to agree to, uh not own all the rights to it. Yeah, or something like that. I would really rather not have a Craig McCracken situation where he he made the Powerpuff Girls, but now Cartoon Network owns the Powerpuff Girls and they've like remade it to hell and back. Yep. And like have completely demolished it <laughs> over the years. Or uh or 
like a Matt Groening situation where he made The Simpsons and Fox owns The Simpsons yeah. and they're never gonna let it die. No. <laughs> Alda Haas says, if I was to do fan art, where would I send it? Uh, you can uh, DM it to me on Twitter. That's an easy way to do it. Yeah. That's probably the easiest way right now. I think you can get, can you get DMs on Twitch? Yeah. Um, I think the way it's set up is like, people can send me a DM, but I have to like, a approve of it to... Uh... Yeah. Anyway, um, or just tweet at him. Honestly? No. Um, no, sorry, no. don't tweet at him. Because I'm probably not going to see it if you tag me in it. Okay, so yeah, DM him. Because I feel bad that there's been times where there was fan art that people did and they, they tagged me in it, but I didn't see it until like way, way later. Because, because of the, the way I have my settings on Twitter, like I'm not going to see things I'm tagged in all that often. Like. <laughs> are looking from from afar I think they're coming along good I like them they make me happy I think maybe I'll color this uh, emote this the, the one that's outlined I'll color that one in and maybe call it a night oh, that's you Who did the fan art of Zarlin playing with the pedal ball that we saw last uh, last stream? I believe that was Johnny Benny. Yes, Johnny Benny. And it's it was the, adorable. And it was awesome. like you're back from the Shadow Realm, Jimbo! <laughs> Hugh Neutron memes give me life. I feel like you quoted that last one, too. I probably did. <laughs> there you go. Send it, please. Thank you. Okay. What's everybody's favorite Marvel movie? From the MCU. Carol Val says all of them. That's, that's, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. <laughs> Carrot, I'm going to kick your butt. He said Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my top favorites. Yeah, I gotta call maintenance again. Okay. It's annoying. It's a different um, week to come over. Sorry. 
I know this is gonna be a weird one. It's not my it's not my top favorite, but one of my favorites is weirdly enough Iron Man 2. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just I like it. Like I like I don't know. I like seeing him like learn more about yeah. like his past and whatnot and, and where his uh, legacy comes from and whatnot. Actual says I'm just upset that they cram Planet Hulk storyline as a side story in Thor 3. Me too! It's almost like I didn't want them to put Hulk in the Thor 3 movie. But because they're not allowed to do an individual Hulk movie, they stuck it in there instead. Ruined everything. Uh, Iron Man 2's good. Uh, 3 is the one that I slept through, but... Um... 3 was... <laughs> I don't know. That That's a mixed bag for me. In my defense, this was... When I say I slept through it, I went to the... Oh, you, that's right. You did the phase marathon. Phase 1 and Phase 2 marathon leading up to Age of Ultron. So it was like mm, 28 hours of movies, and that was the movie I decided to sleep through. <laughs> uh, Jay says, Spider-Man. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, I believe the reason why there is no solo Hulk has to do with who owns the Hulk technically. Yes. It's like a whole... It's also why thing. we didn't get Spider-Man for such a long time. Yeah. So he he can be in other people's movies. It's also why we don't have X-Men movies. Well, now we will, but... We yeah. will now, but yeah. Yeah. Um, or and like Fantastic maybe, Four and that kind of thing. And maybe... So we'll see. Maybe. Just maybe. I'm keeping my fingers crossed here. We get a good Fantastic Four movie. Just maybe. <laughs> yes, there was an Iron Man 3. It opened up um, uh, Phase 2 of Marvel. So it came out right after Avengers 1. The first Avengers is probably my favorite. Just because yeah. I've, I've watched that movie like a hundred times and I'm still not tired of it. Like I could watch it over and over again and never be bored with it. Tool says X Men Last Stand was pure gold. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, that's another thing I need to make you watch are the X Men movies. Rewatch. Slash watch. I won't make you sit through X three though. Because that was awful. Let's keep trying to do the Phoenix line when we suck at it. Sorry. Big Hero Six is technically a Marvel movie. You are correct, Jay. So that is a good choice. Not part of the MC, but I'll still accept it. <laughs> Sam Heave has a cameo on that, if I recall correctly. Yep. I guess Steam is doing their New Year sale because my phone keeps exploding with Steam alerts. Alcatool says you can never kill Jean Grey enough. Yes, you can. You 100% can. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. The Jean Grey Dark Phoenix story arc is everyone's favorite. So overdone. None of the movies have done this one before. Barrel of Alice says, Disney owns the MCU, so my favorite MCU movie is Bambi. There you go. <laughs> I like it. There you go. Uh, Dry Bowser wants to know favorite Disney animated movie. I know I've answered this one already, but Lion King. I think I said Hunchback of Notre Dame last time, and I'm going to stick with it. Yep. Alrighty. I think that's where we're going to leave it at the emotes for tonight, but I'll hang out with the chat for a few minutes here. Yes, from the, uh, I would say from the recent generation of Disney animated films, Wreck-It Ralph and Zootopia are awesome. They're like the best. They're the best ones, in my opinion. Not Wreck-It Ralph 2. That was horrifying. <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph 2 was... Uh... <laughs> yes. I can't do it. I just can't. Hey, let's take everything we learned from the first movie and just dump a trash can all over it. <laughs> I 
can't believe Aquaman drowned in Endgame. <laughs> Today is China. I, it's either today or tomorrow is Chinese New Year. Tomorrow. Lunar New Year is tomorrow. Year of the Ox. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, we uh, we saw Wreck It Ralph 2, and then we saw it again with his brothers, and it was almost more horrifying the second time around. Al okay, no, you are absolutely correct, Johnny Bunny. It is today, then. Sorry about that. Al Katul says, here's an underappreciated animated film, Sing. I liked Sing. I did not see Sing. People... I had a little girl... I feel like people dumped all over that movie because Illumination gets a bad rap. Well, but, because they made the Minions. Yeah, but they, uh, I actually liked Sing. Like, I had it was a little fine. girl tell me all about that movie at work one day. Uh-oh. It was very cute. <laughs> she was adorable. And I guess she was going as one of the characters for Halloween. This was a little while ago. Uh, yeah. What's everybody's favorite emote? I know slashes. <laughs> Barrel of House says, I dislike Sing because my niece watched it 147 times. I mean, yeah, if you live That'll with do kids, it. That'll that's do gonna it. happen. <laughs> I didn't even see the third one. Despicable Me 3. <laughs> I saw the second one, and I went to the Minions movie. Why did I do that? I don't remember why. It's also like, uh... I, s I, I Secret watched... Secret Life of Pets! We went to see that, and I was like, what is this? Like, this is so stupid. I can't... I couldn't deal. And then they made a second one, and I was like, why? <laughs> it's a good number. That's why. Roxy Blushing, says Dry Bowser. <laughs> Blue Lotta Flyer says they can't pick a favorite. <laughs> the thing, the thing with Despicable Me was, uh, well, I really liked the first one. So when the second one came out and it had so much focus on the minions, I was like, no, I don't like it. Well, I think that's what the prop, what, what people in general had a problem with was. Uh, the, the minions became like the huge marketing thing, and, and just because they were everywhere, it got under people's skin. That also became like the internet movie. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> All right. What you thinking? Well, I'm. I mean, this is where I'm going to leave it here for tonight, but also. Just kind of debating on uh, what else I can use these emotes for. I know we talked about potentially doing stickers. Stickers! So y'all can be on the lookout for that sometime in the future. We have to figure that out. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> we have to figure the whole process that is out. A, that is a process that will not but be... It's, but it's something I really would like to do. Yes. Not um, right away. Um, oh, that'll take some time. Excuse and me. I guess whenever I figure out how Twitch works with adding more badges emotes, and stuff, yeah, you know, badges and emotes, I can uh, incorporate more of these. Yeah. Chicken Little, <laughs> Dry Houser. So we will not be around next week? Nope. Uh, we are going to be offline next week. So the streams will not be back until the week after. Yeah, so, so. Uh, technically the 22nd, but we don't know for certain right this second that that will happen. But that week, we will stream. So mm -hmm. keep an eye out on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, um, and obviously on here if you have notifications turned on. Um, and we will, <laughs> wow, surprise, sorry, uh, something on the computer. Uh, and we will, Thanks, Norton. We'll, we'll keep you updated, don't worry. 
I'm sure we'll have lots of things to talk about then. All the movies we watched, the amount of sleep we get. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Oh boy. There you go. Johnny Ben is explaining stuff. Oh, thank you. I'm going to take another picture. Johnny Benny, we need to chat so we can get more info out of you. <laughs> yes, those are both on our list. Uh, Dry Bowser. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll get the, um, I'll get the badges sorted out yeah, then, too. Yeah, badges and emotes and... I well, wanted to get that figured out for tonight, but that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, if you want, is he okay to send you a DM, he said? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Jay. We will. Like I said, keep saying, we're going to just hang out. We might have barbecue. Give each other presents. Barbecue. All right. All righty, my dudes. Y'all have a it's great been, evening. It's been fun. Have a good Valentine's Day. Have a good week. We, we will see you in two weeks. Week all, after next. Y'all take care of yourselves now, okay? Good night. Good night and farewell. <laughs> <laughs>